Hey guys, it's Victor from Selkuth Horizon and today we're going to be looking at sleeping arrangements for the outdoors. So the first setup we're going to check out is Joel's and his 4Runner. So yeah, tell me a little bit about your setup here and uh, why you, first of all, why you chose to go with this. Well, I was a little bit uh, in a bit of a time crunch in terms of how soon I needed to figure something out for one of our road trips last summer. So um, I always kind of wanted to build a platform. Uh, maybe not long term, but I did want a different setup to check it out. So I figured, why not? I had a day, I put a couple things together, and this is what I got out of it, man. Awesome. So how'd you go about making it? Like, what's, was it hard to make? Like, what, what gave you the idea to first go with this? Like, was it just that it was something that just made sense at the time, or? Yeah, so it definitely made sense, first of all, because I had <clears throat> most of the materials already at my house. So I didn't have to go out of my way to buy anything. And uh, second of all, it was something safe. My wife was concerned with being in bear country throughout a lot of that trip. She was a little concerned with her safety. So that rain and the elements, I just wanted to make sure we were all okay considering I was taking the family. So, um, and I didn't have money for a rooftop tent. So this was my next great option. I can attest to the elements. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot my ring fly. But, <laughs> uh, how, about how much did it cost? All in all, I would say I spent about a hundred bucks. bucks. Yeah, bad. considering I had at least half of the materials already at home. So, I mean, Plus. give it another 50 for those yeah. who don't have anything, about a hundred to 150, depending on how resourceful you are. Yeah. Uh, are there any cons to it? Like anything that you can think why you wouldn't go with this again? Um, there are cons. There, the cons being that it's kind of heavy. So when you're ready to be done having the platform, you have to take it apart and then pull it out. That's kind of annoying. It, I did make it in this in a way where it folds in on itself, so you can still use the full back yeah. seats and everything. So you don't have to take it out, but it is taking half of your space. Yeah, so that could be a drawback for some. Uh, the other big annoying thing is definitely the headspace. You cannot yeah. sit up in here once it's set up. It's getting in and out. It could be a little, a little annoying. And um, the last thing is this mattress, although it's extremely comfortable. Storing is terrible. It takes up a good 75% of the back once yeah. it's all folded up. So definitely the, those are the cons. And I know you've told me, me this before. You said this isn't the final product. You said you're going to remake it, right? Oh, absolutely. This was just definitely like on the fly. Like I said, it was a day of, so it was like very, very limited. I just needed something sturdy that wouldn't cave in on itself. And then I, I figured I'll build off of what I made and then fix the errors there. But I already have some schematics for like a future build that'd be a little more permanent. Awesome, I look forward to seeing it. Okay, right on, all right. guys so the next step we're gonna be checking out is what's pretty much most popular out there and that's a rooftop tent we're here with Dorian he's gonna tell us about uh, his setup so tell us what you got going on I have a smitty built overlander rooftop tent it's in the bed of my truck and yeah. uh, how much did you pay for it how much was the cost um, I paid a little over 700 which that's not, that's not bad I know the cost of it went up recently I think, yeah, I think it has yeah I mean, is there anything that you don't like about it? The only thing I... It's not that I don't like about it, it's just... It makes it a little bit difficult. It's storage at home. I don't have a garage, so I keep it in a shed. But okay. I'm having to take it off and on every time I go camping. So for someone that has like yeah. minimal storage I mean, their home, is kind of a The pain. truck is my daily vehicle, so if, yeah. if it wasn't my daily, I would just probably just sleep it on there. Like, yeah. Travel around with it. Um, would you buy it again? I think I would, but maybe like those newer hard shell ones that are kind of like a hybrid. Oh, okay. So this, this is pretty much like a budget friendly Yeah, it's, tent, a, right? it's the more budget one. Yeah. But it's still like good quality. It's not like the material is pretty good. Other than, other than storage and stuff, I have no complaints over it. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you for uh, telling us about yeah, your setup. No worries. All right, guys. So everybody's on a budget. 
or maybe you're just in a hurry and don't want to deal with setting up a rooftop tent on top of your vehicle or packing all the stuff in the back of, of your SUV. So I'm going to talk uh, to Octavio here. He's going to tell us a little bit about his setup and uh, why he chose uh, to go the route he did. So, Well, I'm on a budget <laughs> and I'm on a hurry. <laughs> so I feel like this is the cheapest alternative. You know, depending on what kind of vehicle you have, if you have some back space or something, um, you don't have a lot of money to buy a rooftop tent or get your rig set up with a little nice cabinet thing, you know. But uh, you just throw in your <laughs> sleeping arrangement, your blankets. You don't even have to have uh, sleeping bags. You just throw in blankets, uh, a pillow, whatever. Um, you sleep pretty warm. I mean. If you want to get a little mat or something like that, you know, it depends how much you want to spend. But uh, since I was in a hurry, <clears throat> I'm on a budget. Uh, this is the best alternative for me because it's it's the easiest. So I can't really. This is obviously only you only use this if you have an S. You only have this option if you have an SUV, obviously. You know, unless oh, if, I guess you can set up like a camper, but then you have to. I mean, it doesn't make any sense because then you would have to set up like a mat or something but I mean if you have an SUV it's quick I mean it's the quick and dirty so it's uh yeah it works it seems like for you right I mean yeah has the same similar benefits to what Joel had uh, because like uh, Octavio said you, you're protected from the elements and wildlife uh, but yeah it's also budget friendly yeah, yeah. If, if I wouldn't have had all this junk you could fit I would say three people you could fit some little kids in here. Yeah, dep I depending mean, on the vehicle, right? I mean, you know, if you have kids, yeah. you have not that your friend is going to bring. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, thank you for talking to us about your setup. And of course, I brought the old reliable, which is a ground tent. It's a little banged up right now because it's a little windy out here. But, um, I mean, it's, I've had it for hour, a long time. I don't even remember the last when I got it. Um, and it's lasted, I think it's like a Walmart or Target brand, like Ozark, Ozark Trail. Uh, and it's worked. I mean, me and my wife and our dog sleep in here. Um, we put a cot in there, put all of our stuff. It's, it was cheap. Uh, I think I got, it was like around a hundred bucks. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, I don't have to worry about storing it at home or it's easy to store pretty much, you know. It's, I don't need a lot, whole lot of space. And it's just convenient all around. Um, a con of, ground tent um is obviously you're on the ground but also uh if you get like a cheaper tent it's the material is pretty thin on here so it doesn't have much weather protectant but um, i mean overall I, it's a good option for someone that just wants to get into the outdoors and doesn't know if they're gonna like it or just entry level or maybe you're just ground tents are your thing some people just that's what they like so yeah well i appreciate it guys thanks for watching uh, definitely look out for the next video, uh, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.